Today is April 16, uh, 15 to year 6. Now this product came one month ago with the same problem. You can see the hind legs are rotated outwards, left and the right. And uh, and the, 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 that was in March, March one month ago. Then in February, what happened was the dog jumped onto the play pen fence and the right leg was caught, the right hind leg. Then it started with the right hind leg, so the dog couldn't walk on the right hind leg. So that was for February. Then in March, the left hind leg also has this same, same problem. You can see that the, the dog is uh, not able to stand, not able to stand up. Okay, you see the back view now, it turned turn backwards. You see the back view, turn, turn to the back. If you look at the back view, the back view, uh, this, the dog, uh, you can see the, the two knees, the two hocks are actually at right angles to each other. Hocks are right angles and he can't really stand up and walk normally. Now we put it on the floor here and we see how he walks. Now, x-ray shows, shows uh, media petalization earlier on in March and then later on about one month later that the x-ray shows lateral patella luxation. Okay. Let's see how the poodle is a one year old male, how he walks. He walks with difficulty mainly on which leg which leg he walks here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see the, the movement here. So it, apparently his left leg is is standing on does he stand? No. He's lifting both. Hmm? Let's see. Both. The hind legs no not moving right. The hind legs are not. He's lifting on the left, left or? Both. Both, huh? Can yeah. he can he stand straight? No, come, let's see. Come. Hmm. Let's see how you walk first. This is already three months actually. It's February today is April. Is carrying his hmm? Where? Let me see. Can it can it bear it? It can bear a bit on the left. Hmm? On the left, right? On the left you can still you can still stand out a bit on the left. But on the right high, mm. it's definitely you can't put weight on. So we observe first, how is it, yeah, okay. So, so he still can bear weight on the left high, but the right high, he definitely cannot. Wait, uh, wait, I might just see first before we do any operation or casting. Uh. So which leg, the, the, the right high, the right high, no, the left high, he can still walk a bit. Hmm? He's bearing weight on the right, left hind, right? Left hind, but you can see both legs are spread out as well. With the, with the right hind more abnormal. I did palpation, there was a lateral luxation of the right hind. On the left hind, it looks like a media luxation. But based on this uh, angle, you can see the cross. The both, both hawks are knocking each other. Both, both hawks are knocking each other. They're using more of the left hind, left hind leg. So at least we know the history. So the the the, the right hind leg was first injured. Yeah. That was in February. And. Uh, so, so now we have to decide what to do because it's already about three months since the injury. Um, 7 p.m. the injury, so we need to to uh, check the X-rays. Now we check the X-rays and. Uh, 
Did you even answer the phone? Uh? I'm doing the recording. Uh. I was trying to pick up the phone. So I will look the x-rays. Now, now we see the x-rays here. Okay, this x-ray was taken in March 14. Okay, March 14, when that was first presented. Now you can see the x-ray. So March 14, okay, see the x-ray? This is March 14. The complaint was the right leg. was lame. So if you did x-ray, you can see the patella luxated on the right. Now, according to Dr. The Daniel, there's a fracture on the tibia growth plate as well. And now we look at the left. Left there was also a fracture of the tibia growth plate. You can see there's a big gap on this eight month old. Udo. So now we look at the next x-ray, the ventral dorsal that was in April 14. Now we check the hip, the hip joint. The hip joint looks okay. Now we look at this March 14, ventral dorsal view. And uh, from here you can see that uh, the patellas appears to be luxated medially. If we can see, wait, let's see. Uh, the patellas appears to be luxated medially. You can see from here, patella, luxated medially there, medially, in this April 14, now is, now this is March 14, and the, the right leg was lame one month before that, that means February 14, so you can see that uh, the medial luxation of the patellas bilaterally both the, the right and the left patellas okay now we go to the next one which is a, an, an x-ray on March 24th that means 10 days later 10 days later x-ray again now the patellas were found to be luxated laterally and in this x-ray the vet has put back the patella pet in the group so it looks normal here after putting the patella in the groove the dog was x-rayed so you can see that the patella is not luxated on the lateral view and the fracture appeared to have been the tibia growth plate fracture appeared to have less, the gap is less obvious. This uh, suspected fracture here of the growth plate of the tibia growth plate in this 8 month old, the gap is much smaller compared to there's a gap here there, the growth plate fracture compared to just 10 days ago 10 days ago it's supposed to be a bigger gap as you can see here there called the sorter fracture but there's a bigger gap here and definitely the luxated patella on the right you can see definitely it was fixated 
from the groove at that time we're talking about uh, March 14 so so at that time the both legs were already splay out as what you saw in the video so the only thing was the right leg was it started with the right leg being caught the right hind leg being caught in the in the fencing of the play pen for this uh, young poodle about eight months old so now we look at the last one the ventral dorsal view taken on March 24th now the x-ray wasn't well taken in the sense of the ventral dorsal view but from examination it seems that the patella had luxated laterally instead of medially now this angle wasn't uh, very good view but uh, you can see very clearly this time the patella had luxated luxated uh, medially there the patella is here and uh, on no lateral laterally not medially and this time you see the patella here it has been luxated lateral laterally so there's a bilateral lateral luxation of the patella although this view is not very well positioned and uh, so this is a situation now on March 24th so just now you saw the video of the dog that was that came in today April 14 and uh, definitely there was lateral petal luxation in one leg and we are going to check again and see whether the other leg has lateral patella luxation or not the other leg is quite painful so now I will check and see and examine it yeah. so in conclusion it seems the dog has bilateral lateral patella luxation on the second x-ray taken 10 days after the first x-ray which you can see here now I just show this a media media patella luxation bilaterally this one is a better x-ray and you can see very clearly that the patella is there and the patella is here luxated medially So we are at this stage where the, the dog is in for surgery, patella surgery, and we will examine the dog again. Top by your vets, April 14, 2016. The dog's position has been shown in the beginning of the video the leg position, the hind leg position seems to be able to bear a bit of weight on one of the legs April 16 to year 16 patella luxation in a young poodle 8 month old male to apply your vets